Okay, this is a quick hit video on creating dimensions on an architectural drawing and converting standard dimensions to regular dimensions. So when you create a drawing, obviously you start with your units and you're setting up your units environment to run in architectural units, which is great. So you're able to type in feet and inches when you're creating lines and arcs and circles and other fun things. But as you continue to create your objects, and I've got a couple of lines here that I've drawn um, that are architectural sized. So when I put a dimension, in this case a linear dimension, we'll pick the two endpoints and place the dimension. Uh, you can barely see the dimensional uh, position and uh, the text involved, but we can zoom up on it. And yep, 185. And then the other one was, I think, 120. Yeah, so they're shown up in inches, even though my units that I set up were in architecture. So how do I convert these dimensions into architectural dimensions and scale them to make them visible? Well, first off, um, obviously we shouldn't be working on layer zero. We should be working on our independent layer. So just FYI. Uh, I would accomplish that first, is to set up the separate layers. Now to convert, there is a tool under the annotation button called Dimension Style. Inside Dimension Style, we're working under the standard and we're going to modify the standard dimension style. Um, when we modify an existing style, possibly the dimensions will update automatically if they haven't been customized. So under Modify, we've got a series of different tabs across the top. We're only interested in two, fit and primary units. We go to primary units and our unit format is decimal. We need to change that to architectural. Now, even though we drew our lines in a unit setting in architectural, the dimensions are still displayed as decimal until you go into the primary units and set up architectural. And so we can do that, and we'll choose OK, and we'll choose Close just to show you what happens. And now when we look at the dimensions, they're 15 feet 5 inches, which is awesome, except we can't see them. So that's where we have to go back under the annotation, dimension styles, and modify. And this time we go under the Fit tab because we're dealing with an overall scale factor. Now the overall scale factor should be set up based on the primary printing scale factor that you're looking for. So ballparking it, to give you an idea, um, let's say a quarter inch equals a foot is your going to be your final scale that you're planning on printing the architectural drawing at. Well, how many times does a quarter inch go into a foot? Four is not the right answer. It's 48. So you take half that number of 48, which is 24, and type that into the scale, so we increase the scale of our dimensions 20, 24 times. What that does is that will scale up from our standard settings 24 times, and when we look at our dimensions now, they're visible easily from our drawing environment. You can then grip the dimensions, move them farther away from the actual entities themselves, and that'll give you the ability to control exactly how they look. Using that overall scale option guarantees that you'll have good extension line gaps between the object and the dimensions. The text will be appropriately sized and so will the arrowheads. That's it. That should get you started. Have a good day.